Because A, it's very a lot easier to just move teams. Sometimes they don't have a formal interview process in other companies. It could be just a smaller conversation. But it's also lower risk usually because you know the culture of the company, you know the data, you have a lot of pre-existing knowledge that's helpful for you. So your onboarding would be easier for yourself and you feel more comfortable because you have connections in the company, right? You should build connections in the company in general if you can. But if you move outside, there's a mental burden as well, right? Like, oh, I'm moving to a new company. I don't know what it'll be like. If you're actually trying to optimize for pay, moving to an external company is better because when you move internally, there's a cap usually of how much your pay can increase. It's not going to be that big of a move typically in terms of the increase. But if you move outside, you can increase yourself quite a bit. Because if you're going to another company, why yeah. would you go for 10, 15%? It doesn't make sense, right? So yeah. it's better for you there. It's also, I do know, I have a friend who kind of moved up from, I don't know, L3 probably to L5 or so very fast after the master's and he just kept bouncing companies. You can do this. The There's not a big downside to this. There's only two things I would mention. Number one is if you want to move to management, it's better to stick around at a company at some point because then you build trust and you can move to management. Otherwise, it's tough to get a management role at another company when you weren't a manager in your own company. Of course, some people become L6 and they kind of mention their lead and there were two people under them. Sometimes they also embellish and they're able to get it, but that's not really ideal because a lot of them, they just embellish their title and their role, which you shouldn't do that, right? That's the other way people do it. But it's more easy. It's easier if you stay in that company and then move up to management because, and then you can move after you become a manager.